And just because we have those students that every once in a while, not knowing that they have anything to turn in, when you go over to another project, that means you turn in the first project. So um, this is just your assignment. Your assignment is to make an elevator just like this. It goes to the first and second floor. Uh, you can you can make it aesthetically more appealing than this if you want to. Maybe you have a box that you travel in rather than this object. Uh, think about how you would do that. How would you make a complete box? Uh, would you do that in a 3D application such as Maya maybe? Would you maybe make that here and stack a bunch of objects together? I'm going to let you decide that, but that's going to be one of the stipulations of the project is to turn this more into an elevator. For those people that really want to kind of challenge themselves, think about this. I showed you the translate script. I showed you on trigger. What would happen, let's say, if I stood on the first trigger and let's say these magical doors uh, pulled off to the side? Okay, how would that work? Okay, and I'll, I'll let you research that, look at it. I always kind of like give challenges out and say, well, you know, if you really want to challenge yourself, do this. If you really, really want to challenge yourself, do this. Um, so I would say the most challenging would be me walking up to an elevator. The doors open. I get into the elevators. The doors close. I go to the top. The doors open back up. So all is required for the exercise, however, uh, to be able to turn it in is you walking into a box. But I would say those students willing to go the extra mile should kind of explore that. How would you get into an elevator where the doors open and close and then reopen at the top? Okay. And when you are done with that, uh, let's do the build with the index, just like I did in one of the previous lessons. So build index. Uh, here's my build and run. I can go into project seven, make a build folder here. And I'll label this index again. And that way when I load it up on the web, it'll look a lot like this. First floor. Second floor. Okay. All right, enjoy the lesson and go on with the next project.